Minecraft Education Edition Hosting a World One of the ways you can use Minecraft Education is to share worlds between your students, as a whole class, or as a small group. As a whole class, a world now allows you to have up to 40 different players in one world. To do this, someone needs to be a host. The host will have the world saved on their computer. So it's important if it's group work that this is saved in a place where multiple people can access it in case the person is away sick. Let's go to play. I'm going to create a new world from a template and I'm just going to choose the blocks of grass and I'm going to host it. Once I've opened my world, I might need to press escape to view the code. I will also have to give the joining code to the other people I want to join my world. You can now see that I've got two people in this world. And if I look around, I can see the other player. In this way, two people can move around and build and construct things together. This is a good way to get your students to work together. For example, they could build a house together and have to decide on what building materials they need, how big the house would be, what kind of doors they're going to put in, and maybe what kind of garden. Once you've finished, if you go back, you can say select stop hosting, and this will keep the other person out of the world. They get a screen to say that they've been disconnected. If you're having trouble getting your students to connect to the same world, Make sure that they're both using their school's email address, they're on the same network, and they've both got the same version of my own craft installed on their computers. Also, you can try refreshing the joining code if that doesn't work.